At Vior Hospital, a patient is admitted with a resistant bacterium from Afghanistan. She's just one of a growing number of patients with infectious diseases who can't be treated immediately with antibiotics because the bacteria have developed resistance to most antibiotics. We are approaching a time that World Health Organization calls the post-antibiotic era, where bacteria have outmaneuvered antibiotics by constantly adapting to and surviving new medicines. Each year, 25,000 people in the EU die due to infectious diseases that can't be treated with antibiotics. Despite the increase in resistance problems, the pharmaceutical industry has largely abandoned research into new antibiotics. Compared to profit, it's too expensive to develop new antibiotics. Therefore, it's critically necessary that the public sector steps in and takes responsibility for researching and developing new antibiotics. The Danish Council for Strategic Research has supported DANCARD, the Danish Centre for Antibiotic Research and Development, which addresses the problem. DANCARD Center has undertegnet as a leader, and it coordinates therefore here from the clinical microbiological afdeling at Hvidovre Hospital. The goal is to develop new antibiotics and improve the impact of older antibiotics in order to decrease mortality caused by antibiotic-resistant bacteria. The center's work is coordinated at Vior Hospital. The Danish Serum Institute in Copenhagen, University of Copenhagen, the Technical University of Denmark and the Roskilde University are some of the 11 partners in the project. All partners meet to plan new research areas and share results. One of the current projects here is research in nanomedicine. With nanotechnology, it's possible to wrap an antibiotic and thereby target, for example, the specific infection. The idea is that the antibiotic can reach the bacteria in such high concentrations that it kills all the bacteria, including those that have developed some resistance and therefore would survive during a normal course of treatment where the antibiotic wouldn't reach the bacteria in sufficiently large quantities. Here at the University of Copenhagen, a research team is developing new synthetic antibiotics via amino acids. The advantage is that researchers can construct new types of antibiotics against which bacteria have not yet developed resistance. This is one of the core areas of DANCARD, and the center's researchers predict it has great potential. But there is a long way from research to when patients see the benefit from it. Although an active substance is found, researchers must ensure that the new drugs don't have any side effects that will harm patients. Therefore, new potential drugs are tested on mice here at the Danish Serum Institute before they're given to humans. An important mainstay of the DANCARD Center is cooperation with the pharmaceutical industry. These industrial partners will be helping to convert the scientific discoveries into real products, thereby ensuring that we get new, effective antibiotics on the market. Therefore, DANCARD is also doing research into how we can exploit existing antibiotics for the most effective treatment possible. This is done partly by finding the right dose of the antibiotic. The resistance problem in Denmark is limited and under control, thanks to a very restrictive policy among Danish doctors. But in other countries, the problem is big, because bacteria do not recognize borders. It is a problem both for Denmark and the rest of the world. The development of alternatives to existing antibiotics is urgent. Therefore, Dankard is making a difference with its efforts to ensure future treatment options so people in Denmark and the rest of the world can live their lives without fear of dying from seemingly simple infections. <laughs>